What is going on guys? Burning Spirit Fire back with some more Pokemon Leaf Green and we are in the mighty Lavender Town, home of a lot of well a lot of lavender, I guess. I mean, they wouldn't call it Lavender Town for nothing. But anyway, in this episode we're gonna be going into Lost Tower because we have yet to go in here properly. And yeah, now we have the Sil Scope. We can actually, you know, get all the way through this tower. If you come here earlier, um, you don't have the Sil Scope, you won't be able to go anywhere. Like you'll eventually just get stopped by this random ghost type thing. But uh yeah, anyway. Uh, when you get in here, prepare to verse your rival Gary. He's gonna be like, "Yo, hey, Zero brings you here. Here's your Pokemon dead. Blah blah blah. I don't care." Basically, you gotta verse him. And he's gonna make my Pokemon faint. Get it? Not dead, faint. Man, eh, yeah, all right. So he's got a cool new position, I think. I think he's got a new pose type thing. Either way, he's got five Pokemon. He's gonna start off with a Pidgeot, and I'm starting off with Kurama. Probably should have actually set this up better, but whatever. I'm gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp. See what happens. Uh, quick attack is uh, it does a fair bit, but hopefully this uh, Will O Wisp will be able to like stop it in its tracks. Hopefully, but I think Flying type might be special in this game. As long as it keeps using Quick Attack, it should be fine. Yeah, he is. So that's nice. And we'll go for a nice uh, Ember. And that doesn't do too much, but he's gonna get the burn. So yeah, that burn's really gonna come in handy. I'm gonna go for a Confuse Ray. And yeah, this is what Karama's, basically Karama's moveset is basically complete until it gets Flamethrower and I'll probably replace uh, Quick Attack or something. So yeah, because I do like Willow Wisp and Confuse Ray on it, just because it's really, really just works out. And yeah, pretty much. So let's go for uh, another Ember, I guess. And hopefully hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Oh, I didn't hit itself. That was like pointless, me saying hit yourself. But it's gonna get burned and hopefully this ember will take it out. And you're actually faster than me, I guess using quick attack. And yes! Man, that is awesome. The one time I actually wanted you to hit yourself, you actually hit yourself. So yeah, that is sweet. We take down his Pidgeotto and we get mm, not really that much experience. And you have a Gyarados already? That's crazy. Well at least he doesn't have a magic up. But yeah, he starts off with a Gyarados. Well not starts off, but he's gonna have a Gyarados. I don't really know why I say he starts off with a Gyarados. I know, I'm just thinking of, um, Lance. I played, I've been playing, uh, Gold and Silver lately. Yep, Lance and his Gyarados. So we'll go for a Shockwave, and that's gonna take it out. So, that's why Gyarados is strong and everything, but it's so weak to Electro types. It's just, I don't know, they should have gave like a Star You or something. This would have been so much better. But Growlithe, I'm gonna switch into Spirit. He hasn't had any acting for a very long time. But he is, I think, my strongest Pokemon, nearly level 30. But yeah, but I guess I was about to say I'm pretty under level, but at this, when I'm versing Gary here, I'm actually over leveled, but that's because you can. I think you are meant to verse him before going into like the fourth gym and such. But I figured um, I'll probably just, you know, go do all that stuff, then come back, just because I prefer to hit it all in one episode. So we'll send in Zengetsu to take care of his Ivysaur. I think that's what his name is. Uh, yeah, Ivysaur, there we go. I always get confused if Ivysaur and Venusaur, which one's like which form. But uh, yeah, Ivysaur's the second form. And that Aerial Ace nearly takes it out. And I was about to say, you're gonna use Poison Power, aren't you? So, yeah, sort of wish this Pidgeotto had Gust. But then again, then again, I don't think Gust was made uh, in first gen. Actually, abilities weren't even made in first gen, so. Yeah, I don't know why they just didn't give Gust to Pidgeotto. It just like Swallow. It really makes bird Pokemon a lot stronger. But anyway, we get to level 28, and now you got a Kadabra, so I'm gonna send in... I don't know, who has like a bite type thing? I don't know, I'll just send in ramen, why not? I very much am fond of ramen, he's a very good Pokemon, I'm very glad I added him to my team. And level 20, so let's go for a Slash, hopefully I get a crit or something. And they actually do, which is nice. So take that Kadabra, I just kicked your ass. What? You stinker! Took it easy on you too. Of course you did. Of course you did. Just taking it easy on me. Um, you say you stinker. Never heard that before. That is like new words to me. Weird. Um, do I need any healing up? I know there's a healing panel somewhere along the lines here, but I might need a certain Pokemon. Um, we want to heal Kurama. Yeah, why not? And hopefully I have some antidotes on me. Hopefully I didn't use... There we go. One or three right there, which is sweet. So I bought them just like in chest. I got poisoned in the um, 
sixth, the fourth gym, last gym I was at. Um, alright, who has a dark move? I know you have Bite. Um, anyone else have Yes, Thief? Alright, so, not really. But I was going to keep Kurama at the front just for now, just to gain that experience. But yeah, I know for a fact that a lot of dialogue in this place changed from the first game. Cause these people used to talk like about like black magic and like taking your souls and stuff. And I think they changed a lot of it just like laughing type things. I don't know, I guess it is pretty dark since Pokemon's like way more popular now. So I guess they gotta watch their dialogue. But in the early games, it didn't really matter because they weren't that popular. So there's like throwing out anything they wanted. Um, but yeah, Ember, that does about half. I'm actually fine with that. And Curse is gonna kill it, so. Yeah, I'm actually very fine with that. So take that, Ghastly, you, you stinker. Yeah, now I'm using stinker. Gary's not the only one. Ah, uh, so close to level 30. <laughs> level... Why, I'm stuffing up my words. Level 26. Um... Uh, I'm just thinking if I want to verse anyone here. I guess I'll just quickly verse you. Ah, uh, wild Pokemon. And here we have a Ghastly, just going to show off these wild Pokemon. In here you can find Ghastly, the occasional Haunter, and the occasional Cubone, but I think Cubone is very rare, so... Yeah, all three... Well, basically Ghastly and Haunter are basically the same thing anyway, but good Pokemon. Um, if you can somehow trade with someone, I highly recommend Ghastly, because um, when it gets to Haunter, once you trade it, it will become a Gengar, and Gengar is just a powerhouse Pokemon. Very fast, great special attack. Not very good in defensive type things, but... Still overall a very good Pokemon. And here's another trainer. But yeah, I'm probably going to show off a few trainer battles. Some of them will probably skip, like literally skip them and then skip them like editing wise. But yeah, go for another Ember. Just because I like to show off a few trainers, especially if they're new trainers and they have like different Pokemon. But uh, yeah, Spite's an interesting move. It lowers basically your PP. So Ember just lost 4 PP. I mean, meaning, uh, yeah, obviously you can't use it as much, but I never really care for that move. I guess it's more of a competitive type move. But then again, moves like have like 30 odd, really are pointless. But I don't know. I never really liked the move, really. Um, Alright, I'm gonna try to skip you. Sweet. Um, wild Pokemon. Oh, here's another Ghastly. I just, you know, I could have probably edited this out, but I figured why not? Why not show it? I want to spare repel. I honestly didn't think wild Pokemon were that common in this place. I never used the spray repels like when I used to play this game. Never needed to. Because I never really ran into wild Pokemon, but whatever. Uh, item over here, we get our Alexa, Which definitely is going to raise PP, but I like to save them for the Elite Four. Um... I want to throw Spirit up front, just because it has Bite, and it will be able to go through these people very quickly. Um... I'm trying to get this item over there. So I like to get items, and I went the wrong way, but I don't think that item's really important. Um, I don't know, there's two items there, I might as well show them both off. Ghost? No! So yeah, as long as these people keep having one Pokemon, I'm not going to bother editing it out. So, yeah, another Ghastly, and I'm just going to go for a bite. This should actually kill it in one hit, and you're going to use Curse. This is definitely going to kill it in one hit, just definitely. Um, Curse is an interesting move, as you can see, cut your, his, well, his attack in half, or his HP, stuffing up my words lately. Really bad, but anyway, cuts his HP in half, and then basically that is still damage each turn, but since it only has one Pokemon, it's sort of pointless, because I just kill it. But, yeah, anyway. Um, alright, get this item over here. It's a great ball, probably not worth picking up, I guess it's still pretty good. And, you know, I gotta rush another trainer. Ha ha ha, beat me not! These people are tripping. I swear, these people are tripping balls. Tripping balls. Another ghastly. But they have one Pokemon, so much they found with this. Um Night Jade. That's gonna basically that's similar to Seismic Toss, actually pretty much identical to Seismic Toss. It just does um, damage equal to its level, so I just did 22 right there. Um it's probably a... it's more of a defensive type Pokemon top defensive type move for Pokemon, it's more like uh, Wi-Fi battling and stuff. For example, a Blissey, you can teach it like Seismic Toss, so it's really defensive and then it's going to have that attack, it's going to basically do 100 each turn. So yeah, pretty sweet. Um, here's that healing panel, which I really do need. And got to avoid you. Nice. And we'll heal up a Pokemon. And we'll get this item, which is a 
clance, a clance tag thing. And I guess I gotta go this way. Uh, alright. Give me your all. Seriously, these people. I swear they're tripping. They have to be tripping. Have to be. And one Pokemon. Maybe they all have one Pokemon, but she has a Haunter, which is a little different. Uh, yeah, Haunter. Honestly, if you can't, like, access someone to trade with me, you don't get a Gengar. Haunter is probably just... Going through a game with a Haunter probably isn't worth it. I mean, it's still good and all, but it's probably not great, really. And you're going to kill yourself with Curse. Alright, then. <laughs> Got a nail right in its mouth. Take that. And hopefully we get to level 30. Um, close. So we take down Chancellor Tamer. Tamey, Tamey, whatever. I think this is the last room, so... Um, yes, it is. Sweet. And we get an X accuracy thing, Majigi. And I'm actually going to switch up my Pokemon here just because I don't want uh, Spirit getting all the experience. Um, I'm going to send in Shikamaru. Why not? I'm sure you can wipe him out pretty easily. I guess I have to versus you, don't I? Yes, I do. Key, 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 key. So yeah, we take her, uh, her Ghastly out with one Shockwave, so Shikamaru is such, just such a beast, that's why I chose him. I needed, I know I needed one strong Pokemon, and Shikamaru was it, he's just power, he's just amazing. Anyway, he's another trainer, so see you after the battle. And we take down another Ghastly with just one Shockwave, Shikamaru is just, again, a powerhouse, he's just, he's so beastly, beastly. Glad I chose uh, Shikamaru. I was gonna wait to get a uh, uh, what's it called Vi. What's it called? Electabuzz. There we go. I was gonna wait for Electabuzz, but honestly, Shikamaru is probably the better choice. Or Jolteon. Um, I'm just thinking here because I know it's a ground thing. Alright, I'll just send in Ramen. Why not? Actually, no. Rukia. He hasn't had any screen time yet. So basically, coming over here. It's Begong Intruder, and then basically you reverse it, and if you didn't have the Seal Scope, it would just be this little ghost thing, and you couldn't do anything about it. But now, since you have the Seal Scope, it's going to identify it, and it's actually a Marowak, which if you go to some house, I think, somewhere in Lavender Town, they'll talk about a Marowak that died. And this is the Marowak, so... Yeah, pretty interesting, and you actually can't catch it. I'll actually demonstrate this if I don't kill it, which I really didn't. Um, wow, that killed me in one hit. Screw you! Just screw you, I really need a root here for some Team Rocket people coming up. Um, right, I'll send in Spirit. And just, I probably could kill in one hit, so just, um, quickly showing it off. If you try to throw, like, an Ultra Ball or any type of ball, see it, dodge it. It's like, screw you, stop dodging my Pokeball. And literally, when I was younger, I really wanted this Pokemon, so I sat here. I don't know how long I sat here for. I just, I even, like, turned it off because I couldn't catch it because it wiped out my team. Because I was just trying so long. And honestly, I've spent, I spent, the first time, I spent hours just trying to catch this Pokemon. And you got a flinch, really, it sucks. Um, oh, that's right, yeah, but I spent hours trying to catch this Pokemon. It's like level 30, that is high, that's a high level at the moment. And I was like, yeah, I need this Pokemon, it, it, it just looks sweet, all that stuff, and I couldn't catch it, and I was just pissed off. And, um, I don't know, I'm just going to risk it. Risk it to go for the old biscuit. Luckily I did risk it, because, yeah, you're dead. And one more water pulse, and we take you down. That is nice. Alrighty. So we get to level 30. And there we go. So we take down that Marowak, and going up... Oh, it, um, okay, you got some talk, but... I went to the afterlife. Good for it. So yeah, now up here, it's like the end of the tower. We're going to take on a few Team Rocket Grunts. So basically, what I'm going to do is heal up my Pokemon, because you know that makes sense. I'm going to use this Rive on Rukia. And then use this Super Potion, wherever this Super Potion may be. Super Potion, where are you? Super Potion! I don't have one, I guess the Lemonade will just work. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is there's about four or five trainers, so I'm going to literally skip until I get to the last trainer. So. Like, I want to go off screen for a second, when I, when I, when the footage basically comes back on, I'll be at the last trainer. So, it just saves time, so, yeah, see you guys in a second.
And we take down the last Pokemon of all these Team Rocket people. Actually, only three people, but so much hacks went on in that battle. So much confusion. Freaking coughing exploded. Killed Pokemon. Just crazy crap. Just crazy crap. But yeah, uh, those battles are very boring. Luckily, I have the speed up button. But yeah, killed two of my Pokemon, those people. Um, they were all their Pokemon around level 26, so. I know, pretty, pretty equal with me. But anyway, here's Mr. Fuji. You came to save me, thank you, but I, I came here on my own free will to help the Cubone mother, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, this guy came to his own free will, um, I guess to try to help the Cubone Pokemon thing. Um, but yeah, talk to him again, and he'll give you, uh, what the hell is it called? Um, Pokey Flute, there we go. He'll give you the Pokey Flute, which is gonna get rid of those, you know, those sleeping Snorlaxes. So, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna open up a few new routes, a few new places, um... You can rather go down here to get a Snorlax, which is going to open up a few more routes with a lot more trainers, or you can come um, over there near the fourth gym and you can get another Snorlax, which is like another bike path thing, I think. So, yeah, there's a lot of new places to explore, and this is also an optional place. Now, you have the choice. You can rather, like, you can choose not to first the fourth gym, so technically you have choices. You could rather get the Silscope first, first these people, go first the fourth gym, or you can get, like, just say you beat the 4th gym like I did, you now have the choice of version the 6th gym, or the 5th gym. Now honestly, the 5th gym probably is harder, in my opinion. Like the 6th gym is a psychic gym leader, not that hard. But um, yeah, it's just... Yeah, basic stuff. Actually, you can't version the 6th gym yet, you have to do other Team Rocket stuff. Basically, a lot of new places to open up, is what I'm trying to say. And I'll explore, you know, one of those places next episode, so I hope you guys like it, and stay tuned for more.